one of the design flaws in the MSD 6014 or 6014.3 is they feed the whole box and all 80 year coils through one 16 gauge wire. And you know, I ran the 6010 for a long time and I had a very similar you know, wiring setup and I never had a problem with it. But occasionally I would get a random misfire. There's nothing wrong with them, you know, the the engine or the setup, but I would always notice this misfire. What happened, like if I had the blower motor running or the wipers going, you know, if I'm taking away power from the MSD ignition controller. They sell a upgrade harness. They recommend this harness to be used with their coils, like the MSD blaster coils. Most of us guys here on the internet know that those coils are completely unnecessary for what we're doing because, you know, the factory LS coils are almost indestructible. Almost. So the harness upgrade, you have two, harn two side harnesses. It's pretty simple to wire in. It's one wire, and this is a 12-gauge wire. It's going to get wired to 12 constant. Because it goes through the relay. And you have two har two branches of this harness. And they're all color coded. They just basically interface with your factory coils. And what this does is instead of all eight coils going through the box through a small 16 gauge wire, this is uh this upgrade harness gives a better transmission of power, you know, via the 12 gauge wire. So there's a lot of guys, a lot of racers I follow or I read on on Facebook and whatnot, and they're all having, you know, random misfires. They pull the plugs, check the coils, check all the grounds, everything's fine, and they're just blaming the box. Well, I think it's 90% of the problems with these boxes are poor grounds and just not enough uh, supplemental power. So, I don't think MSD would make a upgrade harness, you know, for these coils, whether whether it's factory coil or aftermarket, if the box wasn't getting or producing enough power for them. So I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, the only upgrades I would do is, for now, it's just got a looks like a, like a cheap relay. It's made in Japan. So, I mean, I got a little bit of confidence in that. Not Chinese alloy, but they're not weather pack. You know, they're not weather protected. So that's something to upgrade in the future. Um, and they come with an inline fuse, which I'm not too keen on. Because I have had a couple issues with these in the past. Where they lose connection. And you're stuck on the side of the road. But... If you know what you're looking for, I think it'll be all right. So this is what I'm doing, and I'm going to let you guys know how it goes.